Sorry. I stopped telling people about Jesus. Sorry, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> What's up everyone, this is Lisa Fields, the founder and president of the Jude 3 Project, and I'm excited about our new series, Why I Don't Go. Now, the reason this series is important is because I think it's important to listen to people who have left the church uh, and understand why they don't go, not in a judgmental way, but as you heard me say many times, the greatest apologetic tool is listening. And I want to cultivate um, a ministry where we have a discipline of listening to people without judgment. And that's what I hope um, these uh, next sessions and this series will be about. Um, I have four amazing guests with me today. Uh, I'll let them go around and introduce themselves, starting with you. Uh, my name is Jason. Thank you, Jason. My name is Shay. Thank you for being here, Shay. Vince. Thank you for being here, Vince. And I'm Crystal. Thank you for being with us, Crystal. I'm so excited uh, to have this discussion. I know many of you have probably tried to have this discussion with your family and parents, and it may not go <laughs> that well. So we hope that it won't be a, a challenging experience, but an enjoyable experience where I'm listening um, to you all. Um, since y'all no longer go to church, do you consider yourself Christian or Absolutely. Do you not consider yourself Christian any longer? So, and why would you say that? At the start of my journey, I said I'm not Christian. I consider myself spiritual. Okay. However, I had, I had a realization that what I was trying to separate and delineate myself from was not Christianity. It was religion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was the the social construct of religion and the business of religion. Mm -hmm. So I was like, well, those are two separate entities. I am a Christian, but I am not religious. Mm -hmm. When you say spiritual, what does that what does that mean? Um, like she like she was talking about earlier, having my own relationship with God. Mm -hmm. I commune with God through my own way. I don't have to like go to anybody. Um, I speak to God for myself. Mm -hmm. um, I ask God for help in discerning things in the mm -hmm. spirit with my intuition and trusting the wisdom that he imparted in me from creation. Mm -hmm. Boom. Sorry. Mm -hmm. sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Thank you that you said that because that is powerful, that people need to realize that a lot more. Stop. I don't want to say stop communing with God, but you don't got to ask God for everything. Like if you're aligned and you got that wisdom that he imparted with you, you can make decisions. He gave us that power. He gave you that conscious worry. Exactly. Like, I mean, that that right there. Sorry, I've always said that. So, I like, I, when you said that, I was like, just the mic drop. Sorry. <laughs> I don't even remember the original question. I, I feel like if we were made <laughs> in his image, we are part of him. Right. So, why don't we have those same attributes? Mm -hmm. Would you consider yourself Christian still? Yes, absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Because um, I'm, I'm Christ like. I, and, and that's what I feel is necessary. Will I go back to the church? Yes, when I find one that I that I think makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. Otherwise, what I'll do if I feel the need to go to a building is I will find a church for that Sunday that I, or ha somebody who I know is going to church, I'll go and I'll, I'll commune with the church at that point, but it mm -hmm. would not be considered my home church. I don't need a home church because I should be my own home church and I should be, you know, involved in a body. Um, which is just human nature tend to be consistent. So that's why we go to one. But. Yes, I do consider myself to be a, a Christian still. Um, I think for a long time, I wanted to let go of the word Christian mm -hmm. because of all the negative. Yes, that came along with, you know, mm -hmm. Christian because everybody's a Christian, you know, these days. And, and nobody's Christ -like. But nobody's Christ-like. And so, again, that it went back to my own spiritual journey of those ups and downs and just trying to find where I fit in all of this, breaking down what I believed for myself. And I still have a ton of questions. Like, you brought two new ones. <laughs> that I can, like, add to my list. Of you know, you brought more to that. But I will never stop asking questions. Um, I, you know, in my career field, I'm a behavior analyst and we, one of the major things we do is called um, philosophic doubt. 
always ask questions. Mm -hmm. And so I'm always going to ask. I'm always going to ask why. I'm not going to just say because I said so. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to just take, well, this is how we do things. Like, but why do we do these? And the more that you dig deeper, you know, you may realize, you know what, this isn't for me. Or like, you know what, there's still questions. Let me go a little bit deeper. Let me go further into all the religions, all the things, and find out where I fit and what mm -hmm. path I'm supposed to be walking on. Me being a Christian, I'll know what path I'm going to stay on because I solely 100% believe that that's the truth. It's just I had to get to a place where I believed what I was trying to tell people. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't yeah. like, I stopped telling people about Jesus. Sorry, Lord. <laughs> like I stopped doing that because it was like, when I, am I telling you what I really believe right. or, or am I just regurgitating what I've heard? Right, mm. you wanted to know for yourself. I wanted to know. Right. So when people did have a question and I, oh, I have an answer for that because I've studied, I've like dug deep to try to find the answer and the understanding so I can help someone if they're like, ask a question and I have no idea. I'm we can figure it out together yeah. because that's a really good question and I'll write that one down and we can, you know, try to find an answer. But I think sometimes there is no answer mm -hmm. or it's, it's not an answer that we like. Right. Mm. Well, for me, I would say if you gave me a multiple choice of all religions, I'm going to say Christian because that's what I identify with. It's what I grew up as. But in reality, I am more spiritual now. Mm -hmm. Uh, like like what she was saying because do you, do, is your definition of spiritual the same as hers or would it be it's pretty much mm -hmm. I just would spin it by saying as a child you know when you're doing something wrong before you ever step foot in the church mm -hmm. and I think that's your spirituality um, engaging with God right there you know he's telling you if you you know see some candy you want you know you're not gonna pay for it. you're gonna try to walk out with it mm -hmm. something in you before anyone ever tells you anything about that you mm -hmm. know it's wrong and 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 now as an adult as i battle with making certain decisions mm -hmm. for certain things i always get answers that come in different forms that's that's inexplicable mm -hmm. and and i think uh the ability to identify that, to, to be able to discern those things is spirituality. Mm -hmm. Because I think a lot of times throughout my younger life, there were signs in front of me. They were like, man, I, I ignored that and I got burned because of it. Mm -hmm. So I think identifying those things and mm -hmm. then you know acting on those things that mm -hmm. you see that God is putting in front of you, the creator, whatever you want to call it, I think to me that's spirituality. That's mm -hmm. my form of spirituality. Mm -hmm. There's not enough human behavior inside what we do in the church sometimes. Mm -hmm. So I hope y'all have enjoyed this conversation as much as I have. Uh, and those who felt were watching and, and said, Lisa, why aren't you responding to this question? Because we need to become listeners. We have to learn how to listen before we speak. Mm -hmm. If we want to engage culture and also engage those who have left the church, uh, because it seems like y'all are open to going back to church under the right conditions, under healthier conditions. So you're not anti-church, you're anti-unhealthy church. Yeah, anti-toxic. <laughs> Is that what I'm hearing you saying? Mm -hmm. Yes. And so if we listen, we could correct our behaviors. And I believe that more people will be drawn to God and not just church buildings. I hope you enjoyed this conversation. This has been Why Don't I Go? And thank you to our amazing guests. You guys have been awesome and I've enjoyed listening and learning from you all. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. God bless you. You know how in an office meeting they say, we'll table that or let's put a <laughs> stick of pen in it. The church answer is, let me pray about it. And then they never get back to you. That prayer took three years. Because <laughs> it never got an answer. <laughs>